Bob Wormsley from Insidium here. This is Top Tip Tuesday. And on today's video, I'm going to show you two different methods of how we can create a custom kill bounds so we can get rid of any unwanted particles. So let's start up Cinema 4D and we'll get started. Here's our scene then, and we've got this highly agitated fluid sim, and it's pretty basic actually. We've got an NX fluids set to SPH, everything else is default. We've got an NX gravity. Our NX wind has a vibrate tag on, which is animating the rotation, giving us this noisy movement. Let's just make that invisible. And then there's an NX turbulence with a Voronoi set pretty strong to give us even more uh, movement. So we've cached this fluid sim, it only took 30 seconds to cache 600 frames, so this is scrubbable. But what we're going to do is generate some foam. So we can do that on the cached sim, let's just go to Insidium, X Particles, Nexus, Foam. Here's our foam object. We need a foam emitter, we can do that just by clicking Add Emitter, so let's do that. And in our emitter settings, let's just change the default display from editor's uh, display squares to dots. In our foam settings, we want these foam particles to be born almost immediately. So after age, we'll put, instead of at the default 60 frames, we'll put it at 10. We're going to remove any crest particles. These are particles born on the crests of waves. We just want uh, impact particles, these air rate particles, which simulates fast moving particles trapping air between each other. So we're going to put that down to say 20 and we'll leave everything else on default apart from the minimum impact we're going to put at zero and the maximum impact we're going to put at 10. And that just means it's going to be, it requires less impact to start creating these particles. So now if we hit play, you're going to see that we're going to start, yes, look, we're getting those impact foam particles, which look fantastic. But there's one very obvious problem here. It looks like some of those particles are leaking outside of our bounds. Let's just change that display back to squares momentarily to make that more obvious. So, yeah, look, all of these particles looks like they're leaking from our container, which is not what we want. They're not actually leaking. Some of these particles are being born just outside of our collision geometry, and it's the way in which the foam calculation works. Fluid particles that are right on the edge of our uh, collision geometry uh, they have a kind of a, a radius drawn around them and it's within that radius the foam particles are born and if that happens to be outside of the collision geometry then they they can't get back in so it looks like they're leaking but they're not they're just being born outside and we need to get rid of them so let's make a custom kill to do that and there's a couple of different ways we can do it let's just change the editor display back to dots so the first way we can use a kill modifier to get rid of these. So we'll go to Insidium, X Particles, Nexus, and bring in an NX kill. Now the problem we've got is with NX kill, you can either kill uh, from within this box bounds, which can be manipulated and resized, or a spherical bounds, which can be manipulated and resized. But our object is a capsule, so that's not gonna work. So we need a custom shape. And the way we can do it in Nexus is this. We'll have our volume set to outside bounds, but we'll put the radius down to zero. So now these foam particles, as soon as they're born, they're just gonna be killed, and we're never actually going to see any of them. But now we've got it set to that, we can go to fields. We can drag in our collision geometry as the custom field, Let's highlight it, and in the layer options, let's change it from points to volume, and now it's gonna kill everything inside of the volume, so we want it the other way around. So let's go to the remapping tab, come down, and hit invert. And now this is going to kill any foam particles which go uh, outside of our volume, and yet, look, we've got rid of all of those stray particles now. That's working great. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it, let's just delete that NX kill, is to use a question. So let's go to Insidium, X Particles, Nexus. We'll go to NX question. Here it is. 
go to the object tab we're going to add a question and the question we're not want, we're going to ask a particle question we're going to ask a document question it's like a scene question it gives you scene options so we'll click document and then the data look we can pick scene time not what we want we want object distance we can click this now we can ask a question not of the position of an object but we want to ask a question of the volume of an object okay let's make a bit of room we can bring in our volume our collision object and anything greater than zero is outside of the volume so all we have to say is is it outside of zero is it more than zero and if it's more than zero we want them to do something to kill the particles so let's bring in an action we want to change it from the default set color to kill so now it's saying if a particle is outside of the volume of this object the particle will be killed so let's hit play yet yeah, we've got our foam particles being born and any one that are born outside of our collision geometry are being killed so that's two ways that we can create custom kill bounds for particle sims